दिस टर्नेरा सुबलता टर्नेरा सुबलता दिस वन इट इज ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका एंड सेंट्रल अमेरिका एंड नाउ इट एज स्प्रेड टू लार्ज पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस ट्रॉपिकल वर्ल्ड mainly because of this uh, this nursery trade they have were done enormous damage to the environment by recklessly importing all kind of plants from all kind of places and then uh, then finally some of them escape into the wild and they become a competitor for our native plants so anyway this uh, subulata it is not a indian uh, it's not our indian species so it has no name in uh, in hindi kannada sanskrit and all and uh, it is supposed to have lot of uh, some alkaloids and all but more than that i don't know it does have some interesting chemical compounds and uh, leaf looks uh, like this then uh, this one this uh, subulata terna ternera subulata it belongs to this uh, passion uh, passion fruit and passion flower family that's why the beautiful flower is there and uh, these uh, flowers they open up in the morning and by afternoon late afternoon they shut down and if there is a uh, rain is there then it will not open in the morning at all and uh, nowadays an interesting thing about this plant in indonesia and all they are using it to attract uh, natural uh, predators that is there's a variety of uh, insect called assassin bug and uh, these assassin bugs they they eat the their main food is the leaf eating insects so insects that come and eat up the leaves of these vegetables and uh, commercial crops and all uh instead of spraying pesticide if you have a few of this subulata this uh, ternera subulata then uh, it seems that assassin bug the cycanus uh, comes and uh, starts uh, settling in those areas and then they naturally control the those leaf eating insects so it has a good use as a kind of a natural uh, pest uh, destroying insect uh, attractor uh apart from that it has a shelf life for not shelf life it can grow in a good location for up to 5 years and now it has become a weed in india you can find it on road sides and all after the monsoon you will find that it starts flowering and uh, it has a it lives for about 5 years so this is a bit it likes a sunny location by the way it needs direct hot full sun for a few hours only then it will survive it will not do well in the shady places and all 